She is the most dangerous Target store in America. Play it for me. Target is one of the most popular retail locations in all of America. You probably have one in your hometown, but I assure you that your Target doesn't look like the Target in downtown San Francisco. My God. Check this out. That guy just got caught by armed security. Looks like special forces attempting to shoplift. Does your Target have to lock up in plastic boxes literally every item? This is just like a supplement. The face masks are locked up. This is what a zero trust society looks like. Every piece of clothing has an alarm on. All of it is tagged. Every dress shirt, a tag and alarm. Every single pair of shoe. Men's underwear, behind plastic. Uh, no test driving these bikes. Get ready, America. Coming to a Target near you. And I know that everybody knows this that's watching this podcast right now, but there's always maybe a couple people that stumble onto it. That's every single Democratic-run city in America. Yeah. Every single one is rampant with crime, an escalating felonious crime rate, an escalating homicide rate, an escalate. I mean, I'm not talking about escalating at 1% or 2%. I'm talking about in the tens, 10 20 30% escalation in all violent crime to the place where you have to cordon off tide. You have to have a, you have to have your tide or your underwear. Why do you have to? Why would you have to have your underwear behind a lockbox mm-hmm. in Target? I mean, think about, think about how how horrible your city has to be. The crime rate in your city, what a crime ridden cesspool it has to be, to cordon off your underwear. You have to put your underwear behind a lockbox. And I I asked Aaron because he has shopped and we were actually both in Vegas at the same time. We went out there together for a board meeting that I had, and we shot the podcast from the from the Trump uh, from the Trump Hotel there. Yeah. And Aaron went to one store, I think it was Walmart, right? Yeah, yep, Aaron Walmart. went to a Walmart, yep. and it was all like that. Yep. And I'm like, how do you buy stuff? Because we're living in free Florida here. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't go to Target because I hate Target and because they're a left hard organization. But, and to be honest with you, my wife does all the shopping and money for all intents and purposes. As much as I'm buying into the global cabal by doing it, I get buy, basically order almost everything I have delivered to the house. I mean, I, <laughs> much I'd say it, I mean, I did, I'm, 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 I'm enabling and contributing to the cashless society by doing that. But it is awfully convenient just to order all your <laughs> stuff and have it brought, brought it to your house. True. But I've never shopped at a place that everything was behind lock, behind lock boxes or whatever you want to call it, you know, behind locked plastic shields. I've never, ever been there. The only time I've ever seen that is like colo- expensive colognes in stores. That was it. Yeah. But Aaron was out in Vegas, and, and I asked him, how do, you, how do you even shop? Well, you, I guess once you choose what you want to buy, you have to find somebody, an employee of the store, to unlock the box for you. Yeah. And then it, get it out. But I mean, I guess you, I mean, think about if you tried yeah. something on, it doesn't fit. You're like, okay, I don't want that shirt. Put it back. Then you got to find the employee again. But that's every single liberal hellhole in America. Yep. And it's just what's amazing to me is we all know that on the right. And we, we all get it on the right. What, what astounds me, and it's just like all the Christians that I see that never wake up. I mean, see, I mean, I've I preached to them for decades. They've attended the church for 15 years until they finally get offended and leave. They never actually wake up. They never spot what is wrong with them. They never get it. Well, I mean, again, we're, we're told by Jesus, you, you shall know them by their fruit in Matthew 7, 15, and 16. We're talking about false prophets because you just know by their fruit. I mean, whatever, whatever it is that they're producing, that tells you what kind of person they are. If they produce crap, then they're a crappy person. You shall know them by their fruit. And people just don't get it. And I'm like, how do you continue to vote for this? Because San Francisco citizens are walking into that target every day of their lives or every week of their lives, and they've noticed that three years ago it wasn't like that, and now it is, that everything is behind a lockbox. And nothing has changed in that city at all because all you've done, you didn't, you didn't usher in Republicans and that happened. You've, ma- you've continued to elect Democrats, and your city perpetually continues to go downhill or whatever area that you live in. And never buy any of the arguments. I always feel like I need to say this because you'll hear left hearts come out and say, the states with the highest crime rates are actually red states. You know, some, most of the time that's inaccurate anyway, but because they'll say like three of the top six states in crime rate are red states. Well, if you say that, you go, okay, Missouri is a red state. Where's all the crime though? The crime is all in St. Louis yep. controlled by the left. Yep. 
And, and it's basically, it, it, it'd be like that in Texas. Well, you know, I'm not saying Texas is one of the top five states. I know Missouri was one, or Missouri, I believe, was one of them. Where's all the crime in Texas? Dallas, controlled by left hearts. Austin, controlled by left hearts. Fort Worth, controlled by left hearts. And any other major, major city. Houston, controlled by left hearts. Mm-hmm. Houston, I believe, is the fourth largest city in the United States of America. Controlled by left hearts, rampant crime, needles all over the street, human feces, everything. I mean, it's, it is, I mean, just so you know, when they, whenever they say it, they're factually correct, but falsely reporting the facts. Mm-hmm. 